Chef Deb is back with more fall flavors that work for a meatless Monday, but this time he's making us a vegan chili, which I think is incredible because it just gets better and better and better, like every leftover day. Absolutely. It's so good. As you know, we've done so many vegetarian recipes over the years because my mother is vegetarian. Mm -hmm. When we go to restaurants, she can't really enjoy French onion soup, puts in, yes. things like this, chili. So I love to take those and do like vegetarian gravies and uh, vegetarian options for her and everybody else. That's nice. Who's maybe trying to eat less meat yeah. or, uh, you know, does not eat meat at all. For sure. So we're going to just caramelize some onions to get this going. I think one mistake that people may look over at home is that they don't caramelize the onions enough. Yeah. Onions have so much sugar, inherent mm -hmm. sugar, so we caramelize them, and then we don't have to add sugar to our dishes. Okay, but I always think it's going to take too long, but how long does it actually take? It depends how hot, how high the heat is. Okay. But maybe like 10, 12 minutes. Okay. It's All not right. really the end of the world. Also, if you're making this chili, my mother would also say to make a very large batch of it. Yes. That way it lasts for a lot longer. Your mother knows. Bano knows. You know mom. Yeah, you know she mom. knows. So caramelized. These aren't caramelized yet, no, they right? Aren't. But pretend that they are. We're gonna, we're gonna come in with a lot of garlic. Okay, we're coming with a Might lot, as well. a lot of garlic. It's all gonna cook out. <laughs> to make this really special, yes, we're gonna be adding kidney beans, mm -hmm. black beans, yes, cannellini beans. Nice. We can go ahead and get the sweet potato in there right now as well. And to put make the things in that are gonna cook that need to cook the longest in there. Earlier, sweet potato, right? super hard, almost yeah. like a rock right yeah. now. Let's get that in first. Okay. Uh, things like the corn. Mm-hmm. Can go in at the end. Later. To take this to the next level, mm -hmm. use spices. You know, I do a lot of catering. I go into people's homes and they have spice jars at home yeah. that have dust on them. Yes. You know, that, <laughs> that fennel that's been there since yes. like 94. When they first moved stuff, in. Stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So use spices. I'm going to ask you to tell me what a couple of them are. Oh but I'm going to add in just a little bit of garlic powder. Yeah. Oregano. Yeah. We have <laughs> onion oregano. powder. Oregano. Mm -hmm. Oregano. And then we have garam masala, yeah. which is a spice, it's cumin, coriander, cinnamon, very fragrant, little spicy, earthy. What are these two? These are two I of my favorite. I think that's the smoked paprika. Is it? Paprika. Paprika. Okay. Is that it? S smoked paprika goes into the pool. Probably my favorite thing in the world. I don't know. Kashmiri red chili powder cultivated in okay, India. It's got a little bit of pepper. smoke to it as well. Yeah, it does smoke. It is hot, but not super, super hot. Right. I use Kashmiri red chili powder yeah. anywhere that I can. So we're going to go ahead and add in go some with corn. The corn. Let's go with the corn, the beans, the yeah. celery. You know, I've been working out a little bit recently. Look my, at the muscles. And, and, and my trainer is like, Deb, you got to eat 175 grams of protein a day. That's a it's lot. It's very difficult. Yeah. But I just try to eat protein at every meal. Smart. Vitamins, minerals, nutrients, proteins. Beans are dense with this stuff, yes. right? Heart healthy foods. Totally. So we add all this in to the pool. Now we need to add tomato sauce. Yes. So we're adding my tomato sauce. Well, as che we should. Chef Deb Marinara. So this Guys, is going to go. Deb has a tomato sauce. Give it up. So Very we're going to go ahead and you. add this into our chili. Nice. And then we're also going to add in some uh, stock. Now we're yeah. keeping this vegetarian. We're going to yes. do vegetarian stock. I need that uh, Oh my that gosh, device. yeah, the Julia okay. device. Listen, so Renee gonna... <laughs> told me that this wine goes good with your recipe, so I'm just going to take a sip now before I have a bite of your she recipe. Is, she is solid with the pairings. Mm -hmm. So this is all going to nestle together mm -hmm. and simmer. We don't want to boil this. Simmer this for a couple hours or so okay. and meal prep this out. Make this yeah. on Sunday. It lasts you all week. Now, of sure course, does. I have a finished portion here. So we're going to take some of this. It's beautiful and yeah, it's I delicious. And this uh, for me? give this a go. You'll see that what's different with this among other chilies is that it's spice Can I? forward. Uh, the cheese yeah. from the uh, the other segment. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course you can. Go ahead, get that in there. I don't think I was supposed to do that. You can do whatever you want. It's okay. your show. I know and I made it not vegan. I don't care. But for the vegan culture, <laughs> no, leave the cheese out. It's vegetarian, but you'll see that garam masala, Guys, that Kashmiri really chili good. powder, yeah, that smoke comes through. Yes. And that's what'll set your food apart at home from other people's food. Use your spices. Or just get Chef Dev to make it for you. The recipe is up on our website.